Hello and welcome to week eight. It's the final week of the semester. You're going to start with the overview and if you open the reflection resources, you've got the full book, um, Kathleen Blake Yancey's full book on reflection in the writing classroom, but we're only suggesting that you read um, pages one through 22 and you've got um, some reflection resources from the Open Education uh, Resources Services. So you've got couple of things just to get yourself in the mindset of reflection because you're going to do a couple of different reflections this semester I'm sorry this week as well as turn in that final project of your remix okay let's look at the discussion forum your first post will be due by Thursday your final post will be due by Saturday and remember that is the last day of the semester um, our schedule um, always ends uh, the you know the final day of the semester is always a Saturday um, in, in any of our eight-week courses so um, just know that everything has to be complete by Saturday at 1159 you're gonna um, look at these reflection questions that really are about your writing process um, your learning experiencing it your learning experiences um, you know what surprised you about the quote you know the course maybe you had uh, some powerful learning moments or challenging moments that you want to discuss but ultimately you'll you'll look through these questions your original post should be at least 250 words and it's due on Thursday and then you're going to reply to two of your peers as we've done all throughout the semester with a minimum of 150 words each by um, Saturday um, and you've got that rubric for you up with the three um, vertical dots uh, so if you've got questions about the discussion forum but this just gives you a chance to not only reflect on your writing but also connect with your peers as they reflect on their writing over the course of the semester that remix final project this first part just goes back over the assignment itself this is a repeat from what we started last week in week seven but what your final draft will need to include are copies of four to six samples of your chosen genre with annotations and your revised remix now remember over the course of the week i will be giving you feedback too so please wait for that feedback you've gotten peer feedback and as you collect my feedback you'll be able to move to um, that final copy and i'm um, you know as always my um, especially since the last day of the semester is um, Saturday I will be working on getting those to you getting that feedback to you by Wednesday all right let's look at um, week eight your reflection um, is due by Saturday um, you what I'm encouraging you to do is look over the outcomes and objectives for this particular class we have outcomes um, you know, for example, being able to produce text in a variety of written and multimodal genres that demonstrate an understanding of the rhetorical situation and the objectives, you know, within that outcome. You've got, um, you know, outcome two, um, being able to write using a recursive process that includes pre-writing, drafting, revision, and reflection, um, and some objectives under uh, that particular outcome. And finally, um, being able to write about a variety of texts, which may include visual, digital, and verbal texts, in addition to written ones, and you've got your objectives. So your assignment is to compose a 750-word reflective essay. Think about essay as, by, you know, intro, body, conclusion. Um, thinking about, um, you know, how you've achieved some of these you know outcomes and objectives over the course of the semester so you want to more or less reflect but evaluate on your work um, and make direct reference to at least two of the major assignments you wrote for the semester um, you want a clear thesis for the reflection be clear about what learning objectives you feel you've achieved or grown within and there's a sample here you know for english 1181 i composed in a variety of variety of rhetorical genres and I learned to support my own assertions about a text using specific examples from the text and then in this reflection I will show this improvement through specific work and experiences in the course something like that to guide that intro to target a thesis and then begin that evaluation that reflective evaluation of the work you've done and how it demonstrates that you've achieved that particular outcome in a, the objectives um, all right, you know, think about any review strategies that are going to help 
um, you submit the paper that reads well, um, take your time, you know, uh, just think through um, the, the benefit of, we've got two reflective pieces this particular week, but research supports that reflection helps us really kind of um, hone in on the strategies and the approaches we've used and transfer those to other similar types of situations. So this will really prepare you well for the work that you're going to do in, um, for example, English 1190. All right, if you've got questions about this week, don't hesitate to reach out.